Spaces is YouTube's newest home and design channel and we are focused on uh, inspired design, inspired interiors and, uh, and architecture. It's really a hipper HGTV. I think we tried to make a channel that aimed at inspiring people versus the DIY crafts. Really, we don't believe that everyone can just do it. So we're kind of looking at the genius and the artistry that it takes to look at a space, strip it down to nothing, and just create something amazing. We have just launched. Uh, we started uploading videos about a month ago, but now we are officially launched. Uh, we've got a nice cloud of content on there. Our channel is a unique channel, I think, in that there aren't many channels, first there aren't many channels on YouTube that are really dedicated to home and design. Um, there are channels that are dedicated to the DIY aspect of it, the crafts aspect of it, uh, the how-to element of it, and they're great. We really, we're friends with them, we like them, but I think that, you know, our focus is something that hasn't really been seen on amazing spaces, on really focusing on design and the professionals out there and what they can bring to any sort of a project. A lot of people ask about how you build an audience uh, on YouTube. Um, right now, it's, it's not just by search. I think that you know, they're really doing a lot to promote organic finding of this content if you're interested in it. So one way is once they you know, once someone finds your content, you, you hope that they subscribe, they liked it enough to subscribe to your channel. So please subscribe to Spaces, youtube.com slash Spaces TV. Um, and once you do that, it's very much uh, like some other social networks where when you sign in, you've got a feed. And that feed shows all of your, the, your friends, the, those channels that you've subscribed to. And it shows you what they're doing new, what is being shared or talked about, and it sort of promotes that. And then I'm sure that Google has a lot to talk about in terms of discoverability. So if you're watching related content, something is, is bound to pop up. But uh, yeah, that, they're, they're doing an excellent job of, of, of building that organic search so that you're ultimately watching what you're interested in. Right now, I think we're really trying to build a core audience around shows that we think are interesting and that we, we, you know, that we really want to put out in the world. But the beauty of online is that we're able to watch through you know, the back-end system that YouTube provides where people tend to drift off, what videos they share most, what videos they comment on most. And we're going to listen to that. And as our channel grows, we're going to grow with the audience and try to provide the kind of shows that they want. But I think right now we're sticking to you know, a solid core of people who are interested in the kinds of shows that you would typically expect to see uh, just with a, a spaces slant to it. Online, we have, you know, there are many avenues to reach your audience. YouTube <clears throat> is one of them, and YouTube is great. But outside of the YouTube ecosystem, we have a community manager. Her name is Erica Stormwasser. She has a weekly show. She is our version of a YouTuber. And she's talking to the world about great spaces that she loves, great spaces that she's found. She's interviewing top professionals. Uh, and she's also running the, the conversations that are happening on Facebook, on Twitter, on our Tumblr, on Google+. She's running Hangouts with, uh, you know, with various talents, as well as on Pinterest. In terms of the difference between producing for digital versus producing for television, aside from having to make each dollar stretch as much as possible, there really isn't much of a difference. Our whole team and, and our founder, one of our founders, Greg Backer, comes from the television world. So we treat everything with as much respect as, as possible um, and really go the full length. Now, we make it as professional as possible. Live is tricky because I don't think that we have the audience quite yet to, you know, to, to warrant doing a live show. I don't think that we would get the audience that we want. But certainly in the future, as we build an audience and we go to some of these amazing events that the design community has, the ICFF that's just taking place now, the Javits, the um, Design Week that happened all last week in New York, uh, the High Point Market. So certainly going there and bringing people with us is something that we want to do. At the moment, uh, we're not doing much of that. But certainly the Google Plus Hangouts is a great opportunity to really bring our audience and have them, they can bounce ideas that they have off of you know, Tracy Metro or Erica or Vanessa uh, or some of the other talent that we've got lined up, as well as talk amongst themselves. So I think it's a great platform to, to continue the conversation.